Hi guys, this is like take seven, eight. So I'm probably going to put this in segments because like I literally can't get everything I want to get out. I don't want to do like a massive 40 minute waffle because I don't know if anyone has 40 minutes to listen to me waffle on. Um, but um, so, hey, my name's Katie. Welcome along to my video blog. And um, I've had a few new subscribers uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So thank you so much. Um, I'm nearly up to 50. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe and I would be very grateful uh, to follow me on my journey and of course my waffles. Um, hopefully there's going to be a lot to come from this year. I have a piece of paper and I've wrote stuff on it um, and I'm thinking this year has got to be, I've got to have a few things in, in place for this year because the last couple of years, um, as we know, has been the pandemic and I think um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting older, you know, um, and I want to be back on stage and I want to kind of raise, you know, raise a crowd and, you know, um, and I have all these dreams and aspirations and I just need to kind of put it all together and make it come together. Um, and sometimes that's easy and you meet the right people and sometimes it's hard. Um, so we're going to discuss it today. There's my intro. Let's go fuzzy and then come back. So first and foremost, I want to talk about um, my last video. Last video was four months ago and it was a celebration of 2021. And it was discussing uh, things like the triple single uh, for Tearfuls, which was a real drive in just doing something music wise, uh, being able to put something out and build something for a tour for Tearfuls. Uh, so we did a triple single. We did, um, was it hashtag wait? Um, I'm going to forget them now. Runaway and Ghost. Um, I think Ghost has got the highest views on YouTube. Um, that was shot around here. Runaway was shut, shot a uh, shut. <laughs> We're going to carry on. I'm not going to stop. Uh, Runaway was uh, shot up in a little place called Wivenhoe and a train station. And then I think uh, Hashtag Wait was shot here. Um, and it sort of has like all these kind of drop down cards and stuff. So really cool video and still makes me smile when I watch it back. Hashtag wait. So please do check out those videos. Um, and then, of course, we moved on to the remnant stuff. I was like, right, let's put the acoustic down. Let's start making some noise. Um, I've got two people on board with remnant. So there is three of us um, in remnants. Uh, I have Simon, a very good friend uh, on bass. Um, currently up, well, we're all scattered across the UK, um, so I don't know how it's going to work, but we're going to make it work. Um, and then my brother's on board, which is super, super cool. I've not been on stage with my brother for about 25 years, I think. Um, so to have him right next to me on guitar, you know, is going to be really good fun. And I think I've got to get my sparkle back and I, I want to make... I want to make some noise, you know. So, um, so that that's definitely uh the things that we've kind of like. So, if you go onto the remnants of Eden, if you go onto my channel or subscribe to this channel, um, you'll find I think there's five songs. Um, we've got Gong Gong, uh, we've got Stranger, which still has to have some lyrics to that one. We've got Monsters, um, Remnants of Me, and then Mythical Crow. Uh, which has only just been uh, sort of recorded. Now, all of those songs are early, early demo. So it's just me and my inputs. Um, but my brother's going to sprinkle a bit of goodness on there. Um, and then we've got the bass coming in as well. And then uh, we're looking for this elusive drummer. So if you are a drummer and you're interested, hit me up a message. Um, I don't care, you know, maybe, I don't, I don't know, See, I'm in Essex, my brother's in Somerset, and my bass player's in Cornwall. So um, so I think it's going to be run like a professional band would be. So some of the big bands uh, that I've been lucky enough to support, uh, some of them will be spread and they'll just learn all their, their stuff and then they'll come together to rehearse in a studio. So um, if you are a drummer and uh, you are interested in doing something, um, hit me a message, okay, because I'm looking for one. Um, so that's kind of uh, what's been going on. Let's talk about 
this year fuzzy fuzzy time <laughs> welcome back so um so yeah so this year i thought i'd put a couple of things in place now um i'm gonna start with the first date um that i've decided to go bump right okay need to get something done for this date so there's going to be a tearfuls ep uh the ep is going to consist of um i think six songs i'll count them in a second tearfuls ep so it's going to be um there'll be uh, a night to remember which I, I absolutely love runaway uh there'll be coastal girl hashtag wait then there'll be ghost and there'll be a new song on there called Home Run. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six songs. So a six song EP, um, and that's due to come out on the 17th of May, um, which is not that far to be fair, so I better pull my finger out. Um, so that, that EP is gonna come out on the 17th of May. Um, with six songs um again it's uh you know it's an ep you know with the best quality that i i can pull off um and it's going to be something that i when i go on tour i you know i can literally sell that for like two pounds or something like that it just helps towards petrol and and stuff like that so on may 17th there's going to be a deal so um if you want this uh, EP from me there's also going to be a t-shirt as well so there will be a tearfuls t-shirt and an EP coming out on May 17th see I work better with these dates so I've got to put something in place and that way it kicks my ass go bloody hell I've promised that I'm going to get this out on date so May 17th there's going to be a six track tearfuls EP um it's going to have six tracks it might have seven that's more like an album, but it will definitely have six on there. A brand new track, Unheard. Um, it may get released on May 17th up on social media and on all the good stuff like Apple Music and stuff like that. So um, May 17th, EP and a T-shirt, Tearfuls T-shirt. Um, and then I thought, right, OK, that's Tearfuls. And I want to be doing some dates later in the year. Um you know so i can promote that ep and kind of like like push it and just push it hard and you know um because the single you know um is out there so it's about time i got off my ass and did the ep anyway i'm waffling um so the next thing i want to do is remnants um now i haven't spoken to the guys about this yet but i want to go august 17th so what's that we got April, May, June, July. Oh, that's a long time, right? August 17th. Um, I want to get a Remnants single out. If I can get the single out by August 17th for Remnants and a T-shirt. So um, I think that will give us something that we can, we can push and kind of go, right, OK, there's a single. So I can send it off to a few, you know, a few promoters and a few different things like that. So I don't think that's too much to ask. I reckon I reckon we might be able to pull that off. So an August 17th single from Remnants of Eden um, with a T-shirt. Um, I don't know what the costing is going to be because I've got to work out the costing for a T-shirt. Um, but, you know, um, yeah, I think the T-shirt is going to be quite cool. I've not had a T-shirt uh, for a little while um, in relation to bands and things like that. So, um, yeah, um, that's the plan. Um, I think it's a good plan. Um, I have been asked to play the uh, Food and Wine Festival, uh, which is over the summer uh, around here. So that might work out quite well for uh, my EP coming out on May 17th. So, um yeah that's my plan i think <laughs> um okay guys well i think that's pretty much it um thanks always for the support um thank you for checking out my channel um thank you for yeah just all the support because it means a lot to me um take good care of yourself and i'll see you all soon take care bye Hi guys, it's me again. Um, do you know, I've just remembered something that I was meant to talk about. Um, so I was talking about like how um, 
I needed to get like a musical infrastructure down here. So I was kind of looking for people. I was on joinmyband.com um, and um, I was thinking, oh, it'd be cool to kind of like, you know, meet up with a local guitarist or maybe, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe something. Um, anyway, it turns out I ended up talking to this, uh, this singer um, and he's in Colchester and he's on the punk scene. Um, and he plays like, <clears throat> last, you know, he plays like Rebellion up in Blackpool and he plays here, there and everywhere. Um, and he's a promoter um, and he's in another band. He also does the um, the promotion for a band called The Duties, which is a huge punk band. Um, and uh, I got talking to him and he's looking at doing a new project. So... I got, got talking and I said like, hey, you know, I play rhythm guitar, you know, I also do some vocals. Um, I'm not interested in a in a lead role, but of like a side project, you know, that I can just kind of like get up on stage and just play guitar. And, you know, so um, I met him probably about three weeks ago. Um, we went for a McDonald's and um, the rest of the band was supposed to come, but a couple of people dropped out and there's been some changes already in the lineup. But um, I think we're heading to the studio in the next couple of weeks just for our first rehearsal. So I will keep you posted um, and I will be blogging about that on this channel as well. So, um, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a side project. And I think, you know, it's something just to kind of get me get me uh, out the front door playing guitar and having fun. So um, I'm going this time. Anyway, I'll speak to you soon. I'll keep you posted on that project. Um, I'll keep you posted for the dates of Tearfalls and remnants and uh i love you and leave you take care